This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello and welcome to the 20th episode of horror project that we have going on. So we do have our little uh, horror game here, which basically has um, all that you should, uh, you know, have in your horror game. But there is a one thing that we do not have, and that is AI. So let's create AI. So the first thing, um, what is AI? Well, basically every monster that you see in the horror games, it's AI. And uh, how it works is that he has a certain task that you give him and he just fulfills the orders. For today, we're gonna just set up the AI to get it moving. But in the future episodes, we're going to add some more um, details to him, okay? So first thing that I want to do is I'm gonna create a new folder, call it characters, and I'm gonna bring this HP character into it. So I'm just gonna, you know, uh, put it to be everything on the same place and I'll here create new folder call it player So I'll put our character there and now I'm gonna create AI folder and I'm going to add another folder and call it Monster one for example Okay, so Let's call it base monster So to have a working uh, AI, just like we would create our character, the AI also needs a character. So this is going to be our AI underscore character. But with, have, with that having AI character, now we need some way to move it out, like uh, move it forward, move it back, move it left, right, etc. So for this, we are gonna use AI controller, which can be found in blueprint class, all classes, and just type in AI controller, this one right here, select it and name it AI player controller, or AI monster player controller, like that. So right now, if we go to our AI character, we can see we have everything that we would have on basically our default character. But here uh, we need to find under the pawn, so type in pawn, we need to find AI controller class. So we need this to be our new controller. And it will basically tell player what he needs to do. So if we go to our player controller that we just made, we can go to the event graph, so we have event graph like we would have in the default blueprint, and we can just simply from event begin play, for now call AI move to, this is node that comes with Unreal Engine, for the pawn it's going to be self, because uh, it's a player controller, okay we don't have to, we don't have to do self, and uh, target actor is going to be get player character, just like that. So now that we have this set up, if we go and put it inside of our level, and our levels being here, map one. Now we need uh, we need to pull the character here like that. But with that being said. Um, Character, we can press play now, but first we don't see character, so because I don't have model right now, we're gonna add it in the new episode. I'm going to add a cube that is going to represent my character. So something like this. For now it's just going to be base cube, but later on, as I said, we're gonna get the model. But this is like uh, basics that we need to do before we do anything with our monster. So as you can see we have it here, it's our monster, but uh, I want it to move because now if I press play it's not going to move 
and there is a very uh, simple solution why is that and that's because we don't have navigation mesh that can be found inside of here you can press place actors panel so you get the panel here and under the volumes we can uh, we can find something called nav mesh bounds volume and what that does is it gives uh, our AI navigation mesh and basically without it our AI is not uh, going to be able to move. So if we scale it like that, let's say we only want it to be here, so he only can move in this way. And I can show you uh, exactly as a proof that he's going to only sh uh, move there. I just move it like that. So he's only going to move in this um, cube. Let's pull this a little bit up, press N to put it on the ground. And now that we have this, uh, let's scale it just a little bit more to fit it. It's not very uh, precise, but uh, you get the point. So now if we press P, we're going to see our uh, navigation mesh boundaries. And what this means is our AI is going to be able to only walk here. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go to AI character. And I just realized I made a mistake. So the thing that we have here, AI move to, it shouldn't be in player controller, uh, in AI controller. It should be in AI character, so sorry for that. Just move it here, everything is fine. And the pawn is going to be self. So we are referencing our AI. And by putting this get player character into target actor, it's uh, by default going to uh, look for our player character. Uh, so I think this could make a little bit of problems because uh, we have a really simple AI move to. So let's literally just delete this and make this AI cruise around the map. Let's make him actually cruise around the whole map. Something like this will work. And let's pre press pre play now. Uh, not here, obviously. <laughs> let's play it here. And as you can see, this AI is very simple right now. He basically just follows us. That's all that he does here. And once he gets to us, he stops. Because he has not no more tasks. We just told him, move to the character. That's it. Okay. So in the future episodes, we're going to uh, talk a little bit about behavior trees and the blackboards. And for now, you will have your basic cube uh, going, uh, going around the level and trying to catch you. So you can have a little bit of fun with that. And I'll see you in the next video.